There are many topics on which science and religion both seem to have something to say. There's how the universe got here, how life began and what life is about. Take the beginning of the universe. Science says there was a big bang, probably, and after that everything happened with one thing leading to another. But according to religion, God created it. And doesn't it say that he did everything in six days? If the universe began with the Big Bang, could it still have been made by God? Can you have both? Well, I think that the Big Bang was by God and that science and RS do fit together. And it's not a battle between the two of them. It's really just science backing up what religion has said. And that God, made, he did make the universe and that he kind of created the Big Bang, or the Big Bang is the scientific answer to how the world was made. I'm Jennifer Wiseman. I'm an astronomer from America, and I study how stars and even planets continue to form in interstellar clouds in our galaxy and in other galaxies. I'm also very interested in looking back over the whole history of the universe, which we can do with telescopes, because when we look at very distant galaxies, we're actually looking back in time. It's taken a long time for that light to get to us, so we're actually looking at these galaxies as they were when they emitted their light. We're now seeing galaxies as far back as 13 billion years ago, very near the beginning of time in our universe. So that's very interesting, but people often wonder, well, how does that relate to a religious understanding of the universe? Is there any relationship at all? That's a very good question. I myself have looked at that question and I find it to be absolutely inspiring to look at the universe. My own Christian belief tells me that God is responsible for everything that we find in nature, including the history of the universe and galaxies and stars, even the coming of life and planets that I think is part of the creativity of God. There's plenty of evidence for the scientific theory of the Big Bang, but is there any solid evidence that God created the universe? So did the universe begin with a Big Bang, or uh, that's how scientists sometimes refer to this energetic burst at the beginning of time? Or sometimes it's posited did the universe begin by a creative act of God? And I believe these are not different scenarios. One is telling us the how, and the other is telling us the who or the why. These don't have to be in conflict. So can we use science to prove God? No, I don't think science can ever tell us on its own whether or not God exists or this kind of thing. What we can find with science is a kind of orderliness and a kind of beauty in the universe that can be seen as consistent with belief in God and belief in the kinds of things that are revealed to us in scripture. Not everyone does. Science leaves the freedom for people to come to different religious and philosophical conclusions. Which are we meant to believe, science or religion, like with regards to the age of the universe? I think it's important to understand that science and religion are often addressing different questions. They're not totally uh, distant from one another, but they are addressing questions from a different direction. So science tells us how things work. Science tells us the, the, how nature works, how the forces and matter and energy of nature all work together to give us the universe that we experience. It's a wonderful tool. But science is not equipped to answer some of these bigger questions that religion addresses, like why are we here, and is there a God, is there a purpose for my life, what does God want me to do? These are things that science cannot address, but our religious faith and religious texts do address those questions. On the other hand, most religious texts don't get into the details of science. In fact, science is kind of a new invention in terms of human history. And so if you want to know the details of the evolution of the universe or how things happened, or if you're a religious person, how God worked, that's a scientific detail that really isn't uh, uh, given to us in our scriptures. Sometimes words like days and things like that are used in the Bible in ways that were not meant to be scientific descriptions. We're given science, I think, as a God-given gift to find out these details, and I like science. <laughs>